Meet hey. Arnold. And today, he's made a bet with Elon Musk that he can outrun a Tesla in his regular old internal combustion engine car. Don't worry, Elon is unlikely to reach the finish line. After all, no one took into account that while the race was taking place, Snot and Gob would be arranging a barbecue for themselves. It seems that even the normal temperature of the sun isn't enough to grill their infamous pan-galactic gargle bangers. Ah, now that's much better. Oops. Solar flares like these are not good because they usually disable all the power plants and electrical appliances on the Earth. This will definitely negatively affect all vital processes on the planet, particularly in medicine, or such absolutely crucial needs like social networks, likes, and reposts. Only Satanists won't be affected. It might even benefit them. And here's our ultra-fast turtle. Like everything electric, Elon's car broke down. The important thing here is not to celebrate ahead of time. He might be dumb, but Arnold for sure knows how to wink perfectly. Too bad he's intellectually challenged. The battery has died. Now, these guys need somehow get out of the desert. It's good that Elon has already come up with something. And it's even better that his trunk has a, a bucket, a mini rocket, and groceries. Ooh, potatoes are a great idea. After all, one potato can stably deliver 0.5 volts of voltage. It will take about 13 volts to start Arnold's combustion engine car. So, with 26 potatoes, a zinc nail, and copper wire, we should have enough to start the car. Darn it. The crank current is too low. To start the engine, you need hundreds of thousands of potato batteries. I'd advise you to hurry up. The sun is setting and the desert nights here get quite cold. Wow, guys, great outfit. I hope we can do without the famous blue crystal here today. Oh, wait, I know what you're trying to do. If we take zinc bowls, screws, coins, sponges, potassium oxide, copper, brake pads, and we mix them together and connect them to the car, then we'll have a regular battery charge. The guys did everything right. It's a shame that there still isn't enough power to drive. Hurry up, the clock is ticking. Arnold, stop digging around there. Wait, show me what you found. A magnet! This is exactly what we need, Arnold. Hey, Elon, this isn't the best time for that. Ah, it's for a common cause. In 1831, Faraday conducted a similar experiment for the first time. For this, we need a coil, copper wire, and a magnet. We insert the magnet in a coil wound with copper. We move the magnet inside, and in each coil of copper, a voltage of 0.01 volts is generated. But due to the large number of turns, everything is working just fine. Let's see how it works for the guys. Wow, just be careful with your finger. Well, at least we survived. And the finger will grow back. Arnold, leave the Tesla here. And now the party continues. Uh-oh. See you in the next episode!